Here we are at the grand final. Only two sides remain. And all the rival clubs look on thinking what might have been. I'm Anthony Hudson. Today's big game is between Melbourne and Collingwood. Welcome to the MCG. Spring has come and brought the weather with it. What great conditions for finals footy. And with me is Melbourne great Gary Lyon. Cheers, hello. Gaz, what does it mean to be here today? Well, look, Hutto, everything they've done has led up to this very moment. Now it's all about winning grand finals. And these players might never get another crack at it, so they've got to be ready to take every opportunity that presents itself. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. It's a big day for Collingwood Fords. If they can get on top of the Melbourne defence, they'll go a long way to winning the game. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp. And the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. Good call, Hutto. Two teams competing for football's biggest prize. What about the crowd? How happy are they? Captains converge for the toss of the coin. Collingwood wins the toss. The fans at both sides are waiting this one. The grand final has begun. And here we go. It's Melbourne taking on Collingwood. Finding now. Just gets it onto the boot. McDonald cans it into open space. Jones slams it onto the boot. Side bottom couldn't snap it. Packs it out of there. Tries to release the pressure. Lever gets on the end of that handball. Goes by foot. Takes that one strongly. He drives it. Ends up marking them contested. Moore runs after the ball. Slams it onto the boot. Keeps it alive under some pressure. Chris gets a quick kick away. Uses it across half back. Appleby leading the race to the loose ball. Trelaw collects the loose ball. Hannon brushed off easily. Off hands from Langdon. Hands that ball to the opposition. Hunt goes for territory. Moore slick with the hands. Chris rushes with the kick. Dugowie takes a strong mark. Puts it on the boot. It's marked by Barker. Wants to play on. Blasts it inside the 50. Lever uses the body well. Going for distance with the kick. Takes a strong mark. Looks up with the kick. Takes it well. Chose to kick it. The boundary line wins. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. McDonald with the ball. Great tackling technique. Just put it on the boot. Great mark in the pack. Oliver drives the kick. 
Soccer's it forward. The ball spills. He's got the footy in his hands. Langdon kicks hurriedly. Moves the ball along the wing. Found a way to keep it alive. Does well to keep it in play. Kick goes astray, and it's out on the full. Goes by foot. Finds this, and marks well. Pendlebury can link up through hands. Pushes through with power. Sharon Burke is streaming past and gets the footy. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Thrown in now. Gorn with the hit. The umpire will ball it up. Gorn got a fist to it. Picks up the loose ball. Gets it away. Coughed up by Maynard. Collected by Adams. Handball finds Grundy. He has the ball. Brings it out of the pack. Trelaw doesn't take the mark. The umpire calls for a stoppage. Swanson. Side bottom picks up the loose ball. Oliver takes advantage. He runs it over the line. Hubert heading to the bench. Ball tossed back in. Gorn thrashes it. Lever lobs the handball. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Hunt got him high there. He drives it towards goal. That looked great. What a goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. The first goal of the day off the boot of Chris. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Rough end. Thumps it forward. Rushes with the kick. Snaffled up by Colin Jasny. Well picked up. He just throws that ball. Kick by Lever. He gives away a free for in the back. Vinick spears the ball. Easily takes the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Hubert takes the mark. Hacking it out of there. Picks it up. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Doing well with the mark. Side bottom. Elects to kick. Goal scoring opportunity for Cox. 45 metres out. Okay. He takes the shot. Drop pump straight through the middle. Gets his first. Cox getting the crowd involved. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. 12 points the difference. Collingwood have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. Scoops up the ball. He gains possession. Ends up turning it over. Runs it over the boundary line. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Collects the loose ball. Neil Ball and gun loads run towards goal. Handball's under pressure. Hannon throws the ball away. With a driving kick. Ends up marking uncontested. Moved on by side bottom. Trelaw gets in a good position. Kicks it out of the back 50. Good mark on the run. He drives it. He takes the mark. A spearing kick. Hannon going for number one. Just hits the post and a minor score. Melbourne now only trailed by 11. Weighing up the options now. Sharonberg marks in a bit of space. Channels a long kick. Open opportunity for side bottom. Goes with the kick. Marked by Beams. It's a long kick. Kicks hurriedly. Does well to cut off the kick. 
Brace your sets. He sights on the goals. He slams it towards goal. That ball comes off the post. Melbourne reduced the margin. Langdon considering the options on the kicky. Drives it out of defensive 50. Maynard found some space and marked. Gets the handball away. Here's Moore. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. A great mark taken there. Stabs at the kick. The ball mopped up. Oliver just not good enough with that kick. It's under two goals now. Searching for a teammate. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Moves it by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. It's a turnover. Going for goal number one. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Spargo loved kicking that one. Melbourne close the gap to three. About to resume play. Thump clear is in his possession. Picking it up was Majek. Smith dug out the loose ball. He wins possession. Harms gains possession. They can create from this. Has it now. He's got the football now. Wrong foots his opponent. Going for goal number one. Slams it hard. They get around him after that effort. Collingwood play is now at nine. Umpire ready to resume play. Hammers it. Rough end. Comes away with the ball. Sweeping handball. Looks to move it by foot. Smith had it, lost it. Grundy gathers it now. Movement by hand. He can take off after that handball. McDonald grabs that one. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Brayshaw collects it, just gets the kick away. Salem has an injury. Gaz, can you tell us what you saw? Doesn't look good, Hutto. It's hard to see him coming back on. Picked up under pressure. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Jetta drives a low kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Grundy takes the pressure of the goal kick upon himself. He spears the ball. The ball's knocked loose. Grundy was taken high in the tackle. Kick goes inside the 50. Just goes bang. Connor Jasny gets the loose ball. Manufactures the handball. Hannon on the ball. Finds a target. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Couldn't keep it alive. It's out of play. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gas? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Punches the kick. Viney dug it out. Drives it out of the pack. Jetta couldn't keep his hands on it. Wants to keep it moving. Lever just put it on the booth. Harms uses it by foot. Petrarca looking to track down the footy. Appleby a bit too casual with the tackle. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Moves the ball by foot. Simply outplayed his opponent. Moving on. Going for goal number one. That was sweet. They put through another. Petrarca celebrates with the fans. Melbourne now only trail by three. About to resume hostilities. Gorn just swats it away. Hunted down by Roughhead. Fantastic tackle. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Thrashes it. He gets his hands on the footy. Rides out the tackle. Just gets it onto the boot. Takes a simple grab. 
25 metres out. Petrarca should be able to put this through. They'll snatch the lead if this goes through. Congratulated by his teammates. They've hit the front. Back in the middle to resume play. Swatson. Jones with a clean collect. Gathered by Beams. Salem heads onto the ground. Ball up calls. Thumps it clear. We'll have another ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Punched away. He's got the footy in his hands. Oliver slips the tackle. The ball rolls over the boundary line. Ruffin runs onto the field. Thrown in now. Brown with the punch. Links with hands. See Hurried kick. Thomas takes the mark. Got the hands free. With the ball is to Goey. He gains possession. Has it now. Jetta steals possession. Hurried kick. Turned it over. A quick handball from Roughhead. Slips the handball to Maine. Adams going for number one. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. He celebrates hard after that. It's on again as Collingwood take back the lead. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. We're back in motion. Punches it clear. Ends up with Tia. Sells the dummy. Ruffin crosses off the tackle. Farco leaps over the top. 50 metres from home. Almost directly in front here. Going for goal number one. It always looked close. It hits the post. Collingwood but four. Petrarca deciding where to go with the kick in. Sharon Berg drops the mark. A time to celebrate. Smiles all round. That's two in a row for Collingwood. The lead is now 10. Clears the contest. Majek earns a free kick. Decides to kick. Marks now and can send it back. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that far. Here's a chance for Thomas. Going for goal number one. Now they lead by 11. Looking for options now. Plays on. Elects to kick. A mark by Jenna. Slams it on the boot. Taking a nice grab. Smith moves the ball out of defence. Gathers it now. Beam gathers it now. Picks it up. Phillips going for number one. You can see that happening right after it left his boot. Collingwood, two goals up. Collingwood have turned it over too often today. They aren't coping with the pressure. They should try and slow it down and control the ball for a moment. Good mark and looks to send it back. This will certainly test him from this distance. Lining up from a 45-degree angle. Looks like the ball will be coming back. The kick from Neil Bullen finds a target. Uses it across half back. Ball picked up. Sear thumps it towards goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood have kicked the last three goals. Collingwood lead by three goals. Decides to soccer it. Thomas off the deck. 
Staggered out. Quickly onto the boot. He goes for broke. Just sneaks in from behind. Collingwood lead by 19. Gone. Players move as they look to provide an option. Uses it by foot. An easy grab for McDonald. Puts boot to ball. A chance to reload the attack now. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Well taken at ground level. Petrarca goes by hand. Fins off the tackler. Got boot to ball. Shrugs the tackle. Loses it now. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Looks to move it by foot. Jones takes the mark uncontested. Keeps the kick low. Trelaw. There to mop up. Just gets the hands free. Just put it on the boot. Can't take the mark. Clean pick up by May. Going for goal number one. Collingwood by 20 points. Gorn searching for a teammate. Takes that one strongly. Well, when you look at the shots of goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Smith missed an opportunity to mark. Nice mark under pressure. Just gets it onto the boot. Great mark. Goes by foot. Dugowie dug out the loose ball. Lever picks up the loose ball. The loose ball scooped up. Is in his possession. He has the ball. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Goes for territory. Harms collects the loose ball. Interesting handball. Salem goes to the man on the run. McDonald gets on the end of this. Elected to play on. Sinks the slipper into it. Ball off hands. Missed the target. Ruffin rushes with the kick. Grundy presents and takes the mark. Did well to get a hand in. Picks up the loose ball. Smith gets on the end of that handball. Smith won himself a free. McDonald marks uncontested. Gets a hand to the ball. Wasting a lot of effort there. He drives it. And the mark will be paid. The Magpies just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Unable to put that one through. They will make more of those opportunities. Collingwood have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Decides to keep it alive. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Petrarca heads onto the ground. Ball over the boundary line. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Brilliant chance. Jones will be the recipient of the free. Going for goal number one. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. The scoreboard starting to worry Melbourne now. Thumped by Grundy. He gets his hands on the footy. Doesn't take the mark. Thank you. Swats it. Charges with intent. Under pressure and keeps it alive. Couldn't complete the mark. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Phillips will be upset with that. McDonald handballs, takes possession. Well picked up. Appleby dishes it off. Sharon Burke finds possession. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Hunt kicks it. It's a foot race to get this one. McDonald puts the handball out in front. Grundy collects it.
takes the mark. Puts it on the boot. Hoskin Elliott hacking it out of there. Barco earns a free kick. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. The distance might be just beyond him. Colin Wood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. The mark has been taken. Oliver sends one up towards the wing. Gorn determined to reach the ball. That kick goes out on the full. Side bottom, runs onto the field. A spearing kick. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Petrarca goes with the kick. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Moves it by foot. Brace your marks. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Anything standing out at the moment for you, guys? This is a classic game we've seen right now. He goes for broke. Hammers it. Control well off the bounce. Spears the ball. Sear with the intercept. Releases by hand. He wins possession. Intercepts the ball well. Collingwood haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Spills the mark. Just gave it away. Side bottom gets the handball away. Collected by Langdon. Just threw the ball. Brown moves it now. Marks that ball uncontested. A solid mark from Neil Bourne. Uses it now. He takes the mark. Uses it across half back. Chris hits in a good position. Marking in space was Adams. Adams sends one up towards the wing. Ball picked up. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Winning it was Grundy. Show some physicality. Adams couldn't complete the tackle. Hubert was taken high in the tackle. Elects to kick. The ball ends up with Lever. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Cleanly picked up. Uses the hands instead of the body. And it's a free kick. Neil Bullen puts it on the boot. Gets into a good position to take. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Spent that one before he earned it. Picking it up was Hannon. And the umpire will ball it up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. Finding the loose ball was Lever. A low stabbing kick. The ball ends up going to ground. At full stride, receives the handball. The ball in the hands of Oliver. Takes a nice mark. 15 metres out. Move it on. Going for goal number one. He's enjoying that goal. Melbourne behind by seven. That's a really good team goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. The game is back underway. Grundy thumps it forward. Gives it, don't argue. Adam just threw it. Uses it by foot. Jones takes it well. Yet another possession. Thumps it clear. We'll get a stoppage. Punches it clear. 
What did you make of the first term, Gaz? Some of those early nerves have settled down and the players are starting to play really good footy. Collingwood could winning the ball out of the clearance and are capitalising. It's much easier to score when you're always on the front foot. Let's have a closer look at the stats. Collingwood have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball for... Nerves will be settled by now. Second quarter action underway. Back with another centre bounce. Punched away. With the ball now. Side bottom flicks it over. Viney getting in on the act. Grundy unable to hold on. Releases the handball. The handball hits the target. Gorn finds his man on the move. Oliver links up with a chance to run. Kicks on for goal. From that distance. Just two goals in it. Looking to bring it back into play. Easily takes the mark. Scharenberg moves it now. Moore collects to kick it long. Finds a bit of room to mark. Side bottom pushes a low ball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Slams it on the boot. Over the top of the pack. Maynard kicks hard along the boundary line. Beam kicks it out of the back half. Side bottom got under it. Slick with the hands. Chris goes back to him. He's got the football now. Hannon couldn't complete the tackle. Brayshaw with the intercept. Goes by hand. Has it now. Barco puts it on the boot. Scoops up the ball. Pendlebury gives it a ride. The kick ends up in the post. The Magpies go back the Demons by seven. Gorn plays on. Puts boot to ball. Good mark there. Kick by Petrarca. And the mark will be paid. Viney drives the kick. Hannon wins the ball in the air. With a driving kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Adams soccers the kick. Hibbert goes off the ground. Trelaw brushed off easily. Nobody can hold on here. Maynard gets a quick kick away. A chance to reload the attack now. Got boot to ball. Finding the ball was Hunt. Racking up possessions now. Chris uses the bump. Free. Going the way of Chris. Drives the kick hard. Maynard couldn't hang on to the ball. Just landed in his back. Appleby keeps that one low. Trelaw hangs on to that one. Goes with the kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Plays on now. Looks up with the kick. And the mark has been taken. 45 metres out, Jones with an opportunity for goal. 45 degree angle. Goes for the goals. Collecting high fives now after that goal. Of course, Hunter. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. He acknowledges the crowd. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Fends off the tackle. Moved on by side bottom. Kicks hurriedly. May quickly out of the boot. Looking to kick goal number two. Collingwood Flea is now two. Ready to bring it back into play. Gorn releases it under pressure. To going for number one. Collingwood, 44, like Melbourne, 41. Players move as they look to provide an option. Now with a low spearing kick, marked by Oliver. Chose to kick it. Great grab. Main plays it on. 
Good mark by Tendlebury. 45 metres out. Should be relatively straightforward from here. Going for goal number one. He slots this one. A big goal there. Tendlebury loves that goal. The margin is nine. Centre bounce. Clears the contest. He gains possession. Jones receives the ball. Great mark under pressure. Handballs. A chance for Smith. He's really making an impact in this game, guys. He just keeps finding the footy. Jones couldn't be happier with that goal. Melbourne behind by three. Big thump from Gorn. Decides to kick. Squeezes out a handball. Sweeping handball from Maynard. Winning the ball in the air was May. Get some distance on the kick. Salem having a big game. He has been outstanding here, Hutto. Does well to cut off the kick. Moves the ball by foot. Takes the mark all by himself. The kick from Jenner. Takes an uncontested mark. Hubert elects to kick. The ball spills to Hoskin Elliott. Snaffled up by Jones. Goes off the ground. Did well not to confuse himself. Maynard unable to hold on. He drives it. Ends up turning this ball over. Chris goes with the kick. Harms has it. Looks for a target inside 50. Does well to keep it in play. Opportunity for Hans receives the handball and takes off. <laughs> Melbourne close the gap to two. Langdon unsure of the next move. Plays onto himself. Kicks it out of defence. Open opportunity for more. Looks to move it by foot. Marks now and can send it back. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. He gets above the crowd. Melbourne fans would love to see this one sail through. A chance to steal the lead right here. Rush through and just a minor. Teammates break for him. Marks all along. Sharon Berg uses it by foot. Good mark and looks to send it back. Wants to go. Moves the ball by foot. Does well to cut off the kick. Doesn't connect with the kick. And it'll be coming back. Gorn making his way onto the field. Puts boot to ball. Picks it up. That tackle just too high. Goes with the kick. Melchin with the mark. 45 metres out. About to take the kick. Slight angle. A chance to put a second goal on the ball. He delivers with the drop mark. Melchin enjoying that goal. Melbourne have kicked the last two goals. The Demons back in front. This is Smith. Takes possession. Grundy now heading off to the bench for a break. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Oliver read it best. Knew what was coming. Beams wins it back. Gorn goes off the ground. Going for goal number one. Drop up. Finds its way home from Salem. He loved that one. That's three in a row for Melbourne. The lead is now at 11. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Back in the middle now. 
thrashes it. Pendlebury keeps coming. Chose to kick it. Strong mark in the contest. 50 metres out. He gives it a ride. May takes it well. With quick hands. Gorn with the kick in duties. Plays on from the kick in. Had the pressure bearing down. Slams it onto the boot. Lever runs after the ball. May throws the ball away. Going for goal number one. Takes the chance and says thank you very much with that goal. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around, Roughhead. There's nothing in this. Thump by Roughhead. Movement by hand. Hands that ball to the opposition. Takes the mark. Works it across the ground. We'll get a stoppage. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Use the hands and gives away the free. Bangs it on the boot now. Nice hands. Goes by foot. He gives chase to the footy. Finds the loose ball. McDonald with a short hand pass. Turned it over. Gets the handball away. Appleby handballs out into space. Just dismisses his opponent. Tough ball to handle. Missed the target. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. They can link up now. Main just gets it onto the boot. It's a poor kick, and it hits the behind post. And it'll be a throw-in. The ball is coming back into play. Thump clear. He's got the footy in his hands. Gorn just threw it. Takes a few deep breaths before this important kick. 35 metres out. They could take the lead here. No problems with that kick from Roughhead. Celebrating hard. That's two in a row for Collingwood. Collingwood get on top again. Harms gets on the end of that handball. Up for grabs for Finey. Got the hands free. Ball gets cut off. It's a turnover. Picked up now. And now we'll have a ball up. Thumps it clear. Trelaw bobs the handball. Has a runner alongside him. Thomas delivers with a straight drop punt. Pretty happy with that one. Now they lead by eight. We resume hostilities. Punches are clear. Doing well was Neil Bullen. Takes a strong mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of foot. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Got boot to ball. Takes that one strongly. Puts it on the boot. The ball finds itself to the boundary. Brayshaw coming on. Umpire tosses it in. Swats it. He gets his hands on the footy. Intercepted by Phillips. Manufactures the handball. He wins possession. Clears the ball from the contest. Offline. <laughs> Collingwood starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 70 to 61. Collingwood have been poor with their ball use. They've turned it over on too many occasions and it's allowing the opposition chances to score. Puts it into space. Main steals possession. It's only a points the difference Gorn assessing the options decides to play on drives the ball out of defence Ruffin slams it onto the boot collects the loose ball 
Maine couldn't hang on to the ball. McDonald picks it up. Hoskin Elliott now heading to the bench for a break. My ball, says the umpire. Thump clear. Oliver wins the foot race, uses a shorthand. McDonald kicks hurriedly. A clean pickup. Wants to keep it moving. Sick is streaming past and gets the footy. No problems with that kick for Thomas. He's excited about that one. That's four in a row for Collingwood. The margin is 16. Hammers it. He's got the football now. Got the hands free. Jetta gives it off. And now they go. Appleby. A bit too casual with the tackle. Hannon has a great set of hands. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. He puts it out of bounds on the full. Chris kicks it. Appleby looks to get onto the football. Slick with the hands. Picked up by Hans. The loose ball picked up. He's having a big game. The boundary line wins this race. Ball over the line. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. The tackle over the shoulder. Harms moves it now. Scharenberg runs after this one. Picked off the deck. We'll have another ball up. Punched away. Beam gets on the end of this. Hacking it out of there. He intercepts the ball well. Slams it on the boot. Gathered by Neil Bullen. Kicks out of the congestion. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gas. He's really having a big impact on this game. Harms manufactures a handball. Smith running off for a break. The umpire calls for it. Collingwood are in front in the clearances and it's allowing them to create pressure up the field and scoring opportunities. Penelbury won himself a free. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Putting this one through would give Collingwood plenty of confidence. Grundy winning plenty of the ball. He seems to always be in the contest, Hutto. McDonald wins the foot race. Phillips sees off Petrarca. Easily takes the mark. Sends the ball inside 50. Good opportunity for Collingwood to put a goal through here. 50 metres out. Heads it inside 50. Finds a target. 40 metres from home. Going for goal number one. A great goal! Barker loves that goal. Collingwood lead by 22. Back in the middle as the rucks go at it. Grundy thrashes it. Well collected on the bounce. Makes it somebody else's problem. Just gave it away. See it. Just gets it onto the boot. Pendlebury couldn't keep his hands on it. Trelaw has had plenty of it, Gaz. He's getting off the chain. The umpire calls for the ball now. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Rough end. Marks in a bit of space. Moves it by foot. Smith wins the ball in the air. Now with a low spearing kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes it well. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition for 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Drops the ball. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Ruffin got a fist to it. He has the ball. Cox suckers it home for a goal. And that puts them further in front. Celebrating hard. Collingwood doing well at the moment. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. He did really well there and gets the reward.
One thing Collingwood got really good at is getting the ball inside 50 and then locking it in. They're well on top in that area and it shows on the scoreboard. Off hands. Ball up in the centre square. Grundy with the punch. The ball spells the beams. They can create from this. Viney keeps it moving. Coughed up by Moore. Pendlebury heading to the bench. There'll be a ball up, close to goal. Winning it was Rundy. Phillips soccers it forward. Gets a quick kick away. Takes it well. Collingwood haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. And we'll get a ball up. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Goes off the ground. Taken well at ground level by Colin Jasny. Mops up the loose ball. Uses his pace. It's off the <laughs> Collingwood by 29. Considering the options on the kick-in. The mark is taken by Heaven. Elects to kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Pumps it inside 50. A race for the loose ball. Ruffin launches towards goal. Winning the ball in the air was May. Uses it now. Ball collected. Continues to find the footy. Gets it away under pressure. Hebe drops the mark. The handball now from Marcek. Getting in the way was Phillips. Fights the good fight. He takes aim. Ruffin does well to make. 20 metres from home. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Congratulated by his teammates. The Magpies have kicked the last seven goals. The lead is now 35. Salem gets in the way. Is in his possession. Pendlebury couldn't stick the tackle. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent. And it's a free. Salem elects to kick. Adams missed an opportunity to mark. Pendlebury scoops it up. Pendlebury throws the ball away. Uses it by foot. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Plays on quickly. McDonald goes with the kick. A strong pack mark. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Can't take possession, keeps it moving. He's really making an impact in this game, guys. You're right, Hunter. He's an absolute ball magnet. Adams hacking it out of there. Cox did well to win that ball. Pendlebury did well not to fumble. Smith doesn't take the mark. Intercepted. Petrarca releases by hand. Now we will get a ball up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. A poorly executed tackle there. Ruffett can put through a fourth with this kick. To go through for a behind. Collingwood by six goals. Unsure of their next move. Takes a strong mark. Decides to kick. The free kick going to Neil Bourne. With a driving kick. McDonald gets the loose ball. Well, now it's a ball up. Thrashes it. Pendlebury drives the kick. Jetta sends one up towards the wing. It'll be a ball up. 
Grundy won the hit out. A good job keeping it in play there. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Ball tossed back in. Clears the contest. Goes short by hand. Great tackling there, Hutto. Gets a handball away. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Petrarca puts it into space. Taken by Koskinelli. Looking to kick goal number two. He blasts it through for another. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood by seven goals. Grundy with the hit. Gives the old down argument. Marks now can send it back. Appleby sends one up towards the wing. Takes a nice mark. Kick by Grundy. The ball mopped up. Viney collects the loose ball. Handballs. Awkwardly got the handball out. Varko collects it. Wins the race to the ball. Hurried kick. Ball off hands. Dug out by Grayshaw. Just got the hands in the back there. Moves the ball along the wing. A good mark under the circumstances. Moves the ball along the wing. The ball finds Appleby. Collingwood for allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Good mark and looks to send it back. Smith gets on the end of this. Smith just throws. Looks up with the kick. Cox looking to track down the footy. Connor Jasny puts it out in front. Dropped the mark he should have taken. Hibbert can link up through hands. At full stride, receives the handball. He's had a stellar match. Brown was taken high in the tackle. This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. Should be no issue for Hannon. He makes that kick count. Full price. His teammates rush over. The Demons still hopeful of reducing this margin. We're back in the middle now. Punched away with the ball now. He's got the football now. Scoops it up. He's been influential. McDonald there to mop up. Just releases the ball. Not much time left in the quarter. Collected by Jenner. Spears the ball. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Grundy kicks it long. Half time arrives, Gary. What are your thoughts on the first half? This is a great grand final. Let's see what the stats have to show. Collingwood are getting the opposition on turnover. They are working hard without the ball and putting on the pressure to win it back. Cheers, Gaz. With a half left to play in this grand final, let's hope we see a renewed effort after the break. A massive third quarter is underway. Back in the middle to resume play. Gorn just swats it away. McDonald gives the body to take that mark. Looks up with the kick. Goes off the ground. We'll get a ball up on the wing. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Majek goes by hand. Thomas with a chance for a third goal tonight. Collingwood lead the Demons by 37. Harm takes a strong mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Lever throws the ball away. B going for number one. You'll have to do better than that next time. Collingwood lead by 38. Gorn weighing up the options now. Moves the ball by foot. Melchuk spills it. He's leading the ranking points. He's doing everything right. Needs a bit of a rest. Off 
hands from heaven. I haven't seen him for a while, Gas. That's right, Hunter. He just can't seem to get into the game. Mychek getting the crowd involved. Collingwood with the ascendancy over Melbourne, leading 111 to 67. Clears the contest. He's got the footy in his hands. Has it now. Jones slick with the hands. Handballs out into space. Trelaw onto the ball. He wins possession. A great defensive effort. Hoskin Elliott links up with a chance to run. It's cut off by Grundy. Picked off by McDonald. Dugowie with an easy mark. A chance to gather the ball. Thomas found time to get it on the boost. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. Moved on by May. Hubert marks up contested. Cuts the kick in board. They chase after the loose ball. McDonald powers through the tackle. Petrarca will be upset with that. Gives it, don't argue. Drops the mark. Intervening brilliantly was Langdon. Sweeping handball. Moore grabbed it clean. Free kick against Oliver. Looks to move it by foot. Good grab there from Jarenberg. Puts boot to ball. Finding the loose ball was Chris. Viney knows the pressure of the kick. A huge moment if he can convert. Smiles all round. Margin in a really tricky situation. Umpire ready to resume play. Gorn thumps it clear. Kicks in heavy traffic. Side bottom just fends off his opponent. Well collected. Thomas rushes with the kick. Nice work for Viney. Moves it by foot. He takes the mark. Oliver puts it on the boot. Couldn't take it. Cox cuts it off. Rushes with the kick. Finds himself in space and marks. Jones uses it by foot. Worked hard to get on the end of that. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Jones drives with a goal. He bangs it through. That's number four. They're right back in this one now. He's enjoying that goal. Melbourne could kick back-to-back -back goals. Melbourne reduced the margin. Doing well with the margin. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Ball collected. Jones quickly out of the boot. Melchior goes in alone. Cleverly suckers it off the ground for a goal. They will continue to keep pushing to get back in this game now. Get some reward for his efforts. Back in the middle now as the rucks go at it. Gorn with a big fist on it. Viney coming off for a spell. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Ball picked up. Picked up now. Trying to avoid everything out there. Melchim has the ball. Oh, what a goal! Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Melbourne have four on the trot. They're working their way back now. Takes possession. He gains possession. Takes a simple grab. 45 metres out. This shouldn't be too difficult for Melcham. This for goal number five. Into the post it goes. A goal there could have got them going. Langdon looking to bring it back into play. A chance to reload the attack now. Harms hurts on by the crowd. Prepares to kick. Big kick required from this distance. Going for goal number one. 
Intercepted. Manages to get a hand on it. Moore blinks up with a chance to run. Quickly onto the boot. Hoskin Elliott. Hurry kick. Ball hits the deck. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Does well to cut off the kick. May kicks it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, honey. Phillips giving away the free kick. Chose to kick it. Herbert looks in need of a spell. Elects to kick. Taking a nice grab. He drives it. Lever uses the body well. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Hoskin Elliott slams it onto the boot. Good mark there. Goes by foot. A race for the loose ball. Gorn getting a chance for a break. And the umpire will ball it up. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hello. Receives the handball and takes off. Fighting hard was McDonald. McDonald takes the mark uncontested. He flicks it over. Jones just put it on the boot. Uses the bump. Puts the handball out in front. Trelaw powers through the tackle. Trelaw sends one up towards the wing. Puts on a bump. Jenner picks up the loose ball. With the ball is Believer. Jenner earns a free kick. Searches for a teammate downfield. Gets the loose ball. Hands it out to open space. Manages to get a hand to it. Dug out the loose ball. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Intercepts the ball very well. McDonald tucks it into the pocket. Main handballs out in front. Is in his possession. Herbert comes away with the ball. Grundy hurls it away. Brown goes for territory. The ball mopped up. He looks like he needs a spell. They chase after the loose ball. Gain some territory. Jenner dug out the loose ball. Levick dominating this game. He's been superb today, Hutto. Levick won himself a free. Langdon needs to lift. He's barely touched the ball lately. Maynard dishes it off. Pushes off the tackle. He's getting a lot of the ball, Gaz. He's setting the example at the moment. With the ball now. Packing it out of there. A clean pickup. Neil Bullen gets a quick kick away. Spills the mark. Melchon kicks hurriedly. Chris just threw it. Hunt with a chance to line up for goal. Going for goal number one. He's put that one through. Hunt celebrates with the fans. That's five in a row for the Demons. Melbourne now only trail by 13. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Collingwood have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the clearance. A mark by McDonald. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning title that way. Getting in the way was Salem. Appleby brings it out of the pack. Smith didn't mark it. Taken well at ground level by Lever. What a brilliant tackle! Dragged down by Hoskin Elliott. Showing some really good pressure there. He lays off the pass. He can take off after that handball. They are happy with that effort. He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood doing well at the moment. Centre bounce. Swats it. Great control there. Big tackle. Grundy gathers it now. Thomas, the better man there. 40 metres out. 
An opportunity for a third goal. Goes through for the line. Collingwood by 20 points. Collingwood are costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. Takes that one strongly. Uses it now. It's marked by Colin Chesney. Puts it on the boot. Appleby got hands to it. Melchon collects it. Ball up on the outer side wing. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Scoops up the ball. Finds his man. Intervening brilliantly was Jaron Burke. Uses it by foot. Great mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Doing well to intercept that kick. Punches the kick. Petrarchi marks. Not sure if he has the journey from here. Already kicked a couple of goals. This for number three. Ten metres out. That one will really lift him. Yes, I know. Another goal. He's kicked a couple now. He acknowledges the crowd. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. At full stride, receives the handball. Beam marks it. A spearing kick. Landed in his back on this occasion. The kick from Neil Bullen. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Got boot to ball. Got hands to it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. No issues with that drop pass. Bean kicks his second. He just loved that one. 20 points the difference. About to resume hostilities. Hammers it. Rough edge finds possession. A great mark taken there. Collingwood would love to make the most of this opportunity. Keeps the kick low. Quick handball. Petrarca kicks hurriedly. Takes a simple grab. Jones uses it by foot. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Neil Bullen elects to kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Great tackle. Hunt lays the tackle. Great attack on the ball carrier. It's cut off by Appleby. Getting pushed out of the way was Jaron Burke. Holding the ball. Appleby sticks the tackle. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Chris kicks it. Maynard takes a strong mark. He has the ball. Goes by hand to Moore. Collar Jasnik not getting much of a gas. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Collected by Kendallbury. He's been in everything. He takes the shot. He's missed it. Now they lead by 21. Gorn with the responsibility of kicking it in. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Leave it. Wins it back. He can take off after that handball. Collar Jasny continues to find the ball. He seems to always be in the contest, Hutto. Releases by hand. He gets his hands on the footy. Receives the handball and takes off. Finds this one all by himself. Adams gets streaming past and gets the footy. He's had a stellar match. Out on the full. Herbert goes with the kick. Finds this and marks well. Colin Jasny drives the kick. Decides to keep it alive. Degoe throws the ball away. The kick from Petrarca. Leave it. Determined to reach the ball. Hit the man hard. Phillips will get the free. So what can Collingwood do with this opportunity in front of goal? Going for goal number one. Great crack. 15 metres out. Rough 
bit. We're looking for another goal here. They get around him after that effort. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. The margin is 27. Thumps it clear. Mops up the loose ball. Couldn't snaffle it. Chris gets on the end of that handball. Just put it on the boot. Easily takes the mark. Pumps the ball long. Langdon runs after the ball. Found space for an easy mark. 25 metres out. Should be simple from here. Spargo goes for goal. Melbourne behind by 26. Collingwood have turned the ball over a lot trying to play aggressively. It's where they turn it over which doesn't make it as dangerous. Brown will be the recipient of the free. Okay. He might kick a goal. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. Gets his first. He just loved that one. And we're back in motion. Ruffin clears the contest. Stands tall and marks. Melchior kicks it to the square. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Dugowie puts it on the boot. Ends up turning this ball over. Jenik has resources out wide. Here plays on. Colin Jasny gets the ball. Gets the loose ball. Sends it clear of the contest. The ball ends up going to ground. Brown kicks in heavy traffic. McDonald wins the marking contest. <laughs> going for goal number one. Moore couldn't snap it. Ends up with Pendlebury. Releases the handball. Brown gathers it now. Lobs the handball. McDonald is having a stellar match. You're right, Hutto. He's an absolute ball man. Spargo gets the handball. <laughs> Melbourne now only trail by 19. Finds a target. Decides to kick. Hands that ball to the opposition. Couldn't quite with the mark. Appleby gets the ball out of heavy traffic. He takes the mark. Kick by Glover. Good mark by Gorn. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Side bottom found some space and marked. Goes with the kick. Good mark there. Moved on by Chris. Pendlebury leading the race to the loose ball. Scoops it up. Slams it on the boot. May grabs that one. With a driving kick. Did well not to confuse himself. Sharon Burke just throws. Puts boot to ball. Picks up the loose ball. Maynard can create on the turnover. Harms going for number one. And it's across the line for a behind. Weighing up the options now. Marks in a bit of space. Hands long with that kick. Marks now and can send it back. McDonald moves it now. A chance to reload the attack now. Trelaw moves it now. Sear wins the ball in the air. Puts it on the boot. Collar Jasny had it, lost it. Langdon unable to lay the tackle. Hannon sends it clear of the contest. Salem picks up the loose ball. Couldn't get the hand pass away, so he just threw it. Slams it on the boot. Adams hangs on to that one. Looks up with the kick. A chance to gather the ball. Gathered by Jones. He couldn't hang on. Petrarca gets to the bench for a break. There'll be a ball up close to goal. 
Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Goes for territory. He's having a big game. Olivek is blowing hard after that effort. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition 450. If they continue to get beat in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. An easy grab for Pendlebury. Almost cut it off. And the boundary line wins. The boundary umpire will toss it back in. Toss back into play. Grundy gets onto the ball. Didn't fumble. Makes it somebody else's problem. No questions about that decision. Spargo with a chance for a fourth goal today. The Demons won't be happy to see that scoreboard. A strong pack mark. Decides to go to the middle, and the mark will be paid. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. That is a stunning goal. He celebrates hard after that. Melbourne could kick back-to-back -back goals. Just under two goals, the difference now. Punches it clear. Gorn with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Hits the target by hand. Neil Bullock going for number one. Just the right side of the post. It's under two goals now. Collingwood have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Maine slams it onto the boot. Coughed up by Hibbert. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's barely touched the ball, Hutter. Grundy will be upset with that. Harms wants to keep it moving by hand. Langdon couldn't hang onto the ball. Connor Jasny moves it by hand with the ball now. Hits the post. Reduce the margin, deciding where to go with the kick in. Ball gets cut off. Maynard steals possession. Penetrating handball. Has a man running for him. Nice hands. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Takes a nice mark. Chips it towards half forward. Ends up turning this ball over. Moves the ball by foot. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He needs to find a way into this game. Now we've got a ball up. It's a very tight game right now. Gorn thumped it clear. Well taken at ground level. Majek with the mark. Uses it by foot. Cox takes it well. 50 metres out. Got boot to ball. The mark has been taken. Uses it now. A great mark taken there. Alex to kick. The loose ball picked up. May going for number one. Finds a way to go along the ground. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood fleet Melbourne, 137 to 122. Winning it was Gorn. Gets it away. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Chose to kick it. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Hurry kick. He gives chase to the footy. Gaz, what are your thoughts after that third quarter? What a grand final we've got right now. Plenty of scoring opportunities in the third term. It'll be interesting to see which team can capitalise in the final quarter. Here's Gaz to break down the stats.
Melbourne quite actually on top in the contested possessions. They just need to convert that dominance into scoreboard pressure. All is on the line in the final term. Back in the middle now. Gorn thumps it clear. Side bottom rushes with the kick. Degoe puts it on the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Herbert tucks it into the pocket. Lever dug out the loose ball. The mark is taken by Dolder. Sinks the slipper into it. Marked by Palms. Looks to move it by foot. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. He gives chase to the footy. Charged down by Jarenberg. Fantastic pressure there. Quickly onto the boot. He wins the ball in the air. Decides to kick. A chance to reload the attack now. The kick from McDonald. Taking a nice grab. With a driving kick. Hannon gets on the end of this. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number two. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. Hannon celebrating hard. Melbourne close the gap to nine. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Collingwood are on top, but are losing the contested possession count. It's one area of their game that needs some work. Picking it up was Brayshaw. Yet another possession. Spargo got under it. Going for goal number three. Spargo love kicking that one. They are right back in this now. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. That's a really good team goal. We're back in the middle. Gorn just swats it away. Viney controlled it well off the bounce. The umpire will ball it up. The game has tightened right up. Gorn with a big fist on it. Showing control was Oliver. Gets a quick kick away. Off the ground, he's kicked the goal. Melcham celebrates with the fans. Melbourne have kicked the last three goals. Melbourne get back and grab the lead. Harms gets in the way. Well collected. Kept alive under pressure. Looks like the ball will be coming back. A piercing kick from Jeddah over the top of the pack. Pendlebury collects the loose ball. Continues to find the footy. Huge opportunity to grab the lead. Sees the opportunity and was able to take it. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Collingwood goes back in front. About to resume play. Gorn got a fist to it. McDonald clean from the half volley. Goes by hand. Takes the mark. Melchard with a chance if he can keep his cool. That's the lead if this goes through. A long kick in the band beyond him. One more goal, and they grab the lead. Side bottom handballs. Just gets it onto the boot. And the ball rolls over the boundary. Smith coming onto the ground. Ball back into play. 
thump, clear. The ball spells to Thomas. Constant pressure and rewarded. Is in his possession. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Goes with the kick. Hunt there to mop up. He's got the football now. Oliver might have overworked himself there. What a fantastic goal. Pretty happy with that one. Melbourne still back the lead. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Back with another set of bounce. Grundy with the hit. Sear gets it out of congestion. Main spills it. Gets it out of congestion. Melcham struggling to run at the moment. He's kicked it out on the full. Oliver runs out of the field. Moves it by foot. Finds the loose ball. Chris gets a quick kick away. Marked by Langdon. Rushes with the kick. Doing well with the mark. Goes by foot. Couldn't complete the mark. Clumsy tackle results in a free kick. He drives it. Vine, he drops the mark. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Spent that one before he earned it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. With quick hands. Can't take the mark. Did well to get a hand in. It's very tense at the moment. Umpire tosses it in. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. He just keeps finding the footy. Sharon Burke drives the kick. Maynard scoops it up. Steady hands there as he holds that one. A spearing kick from Hoskin Elliott. Pendlebury collects the kick. The mark has been taken. Grundy not wasting time. Elects to play on. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. Smiles all round. Collingwood take back the lead. The game is back underway. Thump by Gorn. Slams it onto the boot. Salem couldn't keep his hands on it. They can create from this. Hoskin Elliott gets the loose ball. Petrarca heads onto the ground. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Thrashes it. The loose ball scooped up. Finding the loose ball was Harms. Just got the hands in the back there. Harms driving, kick inside 50. A big contested grab. Moved on by Moore. Appleby missed an opportunity to mark. Sick slowing down now. Might be in need of a rest. Off hands from Jones. Kicks hurriedly. Lever wins the foot race. Applying the physical pressure. Jenner links up with a chance to run. Brayshaw looks to get out of the football. Wins the race to the ball. Able to release the kick. The ball spills to Salem. Drives it out of the pack. Great grab. They'll regain the lead. Melbourne, close the gap to one. Langdon to bring it back into play. Plays on. Got boot to ball. Missed the target. Dishes it off. Brown running off for a break. 
Ball up called. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Gorn hurls it away. Finding the ball was Hunt. Langdon collects it. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Punched away. Appleby keeps coming. Pushes through with power. Bracio moves it by hand. And now they're away. He's excited about that one. They've taken the lead. We resume hostilities. Grundy thumped it clear. A quick handball from Trelaw. Hibbert just gets it onto the boot. Thomas coming off for a spell. Spots it. He has the ball. Links with hands. Ball up in the centre square. Clears the contest. Oliver constricted by Adams. Showing some really good pressure there. Great tackling technique. Neil Bullen dug out the loose ball. Giving it off was Grundy. Knew where his teammates were. Unable to create the space. Brilliant chase. The bounce made it tough for Sia. He's been influential. Cox used the body to take that mark. Chips it towards half forward. Takes the mark. 45 metres out. Trelaw going for number one. That goal is a cracker. He acknowledges the crowd. The Magpies goes back into the lead. About to resume hostilities. Big thump from the rough end. Up for grabs for Petrarca. Lobs the handball. Has it now. Great attack on the ball carrier. Collected by Jenner. He slams it towards goal. That's a really poor finish there. Have to find a way to do better. Collingwood with the edge right now over Melbourne. Plays on to himself. Releases the handball. Just gets it onto the boot. The loose ball crosses the boundary. Brayshaw coming onto the ground. Umpire calls for a boundary throw. A critical stage of this one. Thump clear. Viney gains possession. Picked up under pressure. Stabs at the kick. Landed in his back on this occasion. Drives it long. Pendlebury runs after this one. Salem tackles. A great defensive effort. Slams it on the boot. Viney doesn't take the mark. Oliver just put it on the boot. Snaffled up by Jenner. And the umpire calls for a stoppage. Hammers it. He's got the footy in his hands. Smith is streaming past and gets the footy. Ball spills. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. You're right, Haddo. He's gone missing lately. Barker puts another one through. They get around him after that effort. Collingwood by eight points. Back with another set of bounce. Thumps it clear. Takes possession. Receives the handball and takes off. Gives it to Barco. Great tackling there, Haddo. Gets into some space to mark this. Looks up with the kick. The ball finds Brown. Advances now. Nice hands. 45 metres out. Hank with a chance to light things up. What a lovely goal from there. His teammates rush over. Melbourne now only trail by two. And we're back in motion. Grundy gets onto the ball. He lays off the pass. He gets his hands on the footy. Thomas already has two goals. This for a third. Celebrating hard. The lead is now eight. Centre bounce. Punches it clear. Sear got the hands free. Dug out the loose ball, breaks through the tackle. McDonald was surrounded, he needed to mark it, and he did. The players will be feeling it out there. 
thrashes it. Hunt grabbed it clean. Steps around the tackler. Hunt throws the ball away. Crisp uses it by foot. Takes an uncontested mark. Maynard clearing kick out of the defensive 50. Fancy footwork and it's a goal to Salem. He's got a couple now. Starting to get into this game. Gets some rewards for his efforts. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Back in the middle now. Thumps it clear. He gains possession. We'll get a ball up. Clears the contest. Oliver wins the foot race. Adams with the intercept. Trelaw getting a chance for a break. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Thump clear. Hibbert controlled the difficult ball. Hibbert earns a free kick. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. Needs a big kick if he's going to put this through. Hunt with a penetrating handball. Never a target. Melbourne behind by one. Langdon to kick it in. They chase after the loose ball. Just put his hands in the back of the opponent, and it's a free. Puts it on the boot. The mark is taken by Chris. He drives it. It's a foot race to get this one. And now Jenna, the handball hits the target. Doesn't take the mark. Gathers it now. Harms is an absolute ball magnet. Picked off by Levex Thomas. Can't hold on to the tackle. Smith releases the ball. Pendlebury cuts it off. He wins possession. We'll have another ball up. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Gorn won the hit out. Things not looking good for Phillips. That doesn't look great. Looks unlikely he will see any further action. You're right, Hutto. Sharonberg puts it to his advantage. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Barker will kick from beyond the 50. Smith has it. Smith has resources out wide. Gets a touch to the ball. Finding the loose ball with Lever. Goes the long option. Finds a target. With a driving kick. He's having a big game right now. He has been outstanding here, Hutto. Spargo picks up the loose ball. This is a big kick in the contest of this game. A kick to hit the front. He's enjoying that goal. That's two in a row for Melbourne. They're in front! That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Hoskin Elliott found a way to mark that one. 40 metres from home. This shot should be elementary from here. He likes his chances from here. It's a behind. Collingwood reduced the margin. Brown looking for options now. Hibbert takes the mark. Uses it now. He takes the mark. Salem kicks it out of the back 50. Sinks the slipper into it. Picked up by Harms. Getting pushed out of the way was Salem. Hoskin Elliott takes a strong mark. 65 metres out. A chance to steal the lead right here. Hooks the kick. They trail by less than a goal. 
may weighing up the options now. Collects the loose ball. He has the ball. Opportunity for Lever. He's been in everything. Intercepted by McDonald. Moore hacking it out of there. He has to hold on to those. Hoskin Elliott gets the loose ball. Not happy with that kick as it goes out on the full. He spears the ball. The ball ends up with him and got the hands free. It's been a great game from Oliver. He's showing everyone how it's done. Elects to kick. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Appleby for the spearing kick. Chris works onto that ball. Uses it by foot. Easily takes the mark. Trelaw goes with the kick. Hacking it out of there. Hoskin Elliott heading to the bench. Ball up call. It's a big stage of this game. Grundy thrashes it. Soccer's a kick. May hit the man hard. He's got the footy in his hands. At full stride, receives the handball. Barco loved kicking that one. They're in the lead now. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Back in the middle to resume play now. Swats it. Bounce. Works for Neil Bullen. Neil Bullen throws the ball away. Chips it towards half forward. Strong mark in the contest. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Barco looking for another goal here. Oh, what about that? That was really special. Congratulated by his teammates. Collingwood have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by nine. Hammers it with the ball now. Pendlebury, red at best, is in his possession. Punches it clear. Ball up in the centre square. Thrashes it. Looks to move it by foot. Chose to kick it. It's a turnover. Kicks out of the congestion. Cox didn't mark it. Manages to get out the handball. He's having a big game right now. He's really having a big impact on this game. Drives the kick hard. Nobody can hold on here. Trelaw failing to get near it, Gaz. That's right, Hutto. He just can't seem to get into the game. Pretty lucky to get that free. A low stabbing kick. Nice work from Sidebottom. Decides to kick. A big contested grab. Hibbert sends one up towards the wing. Jones takes the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Beam, there to mop up. Slams it onto the boot. Good body work to win the mark. Goes with the kick. Brown looks to get onto the football. Missed from behind. Collingwood lead is now 10. Gorn looking for options now. Marks now and can send it back. Move it on. Trelaw with the opportunity. Takes a simple grab. 15 metres out. Main fires it up to the square. Collingwood, 184. Lake Melbourne, 173. The loose ball scooped up. McDonald with quick hands. Gets around Mr. Invisible. Nice. Fantastic tackle. Jones hunting with authority. 
Fantastic pressure there. Petrarca coming on. And the umpire calls for a stoppage. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? It's a really entertaining game of football. Needs a bit of a rest. Drops the ball. Side bottom dug it out. Barco takes it strongly. Kicks in heavy traffic. Nice mark under pressure. Kick by Xia. Beam wins the marking contest. 40 metres out. An opportunity for a third goal. Collecting high fives now after that goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Beam celebrating hard. Collingwood with a handy break. They lead Melbourne 190 to 173. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. Collingwood are allowing the opposition uncontested marks, but they set up behind the ball so well it forces the opposition to play that style. Lucky to be on the receiving end of that decision. Melchimk is blowing hard after that effort. Hunt got hands to it. Gets a quick kick away. Can he put it through? He acknowledges the crowd. Just two goals in it. The game is back underway. Punched away. Taken by Viney. Slick with the hands. Little one-two. He's on fire at the moment, Gaz. Yes, I know. He's a class act. Oliver hacks it out of there. Drops the mark. Hannon heads towards the goals. Gets some rewards for his efforts. Melbourne could kick back-to-back -back goals. Probably only one roll of the dice left. Putting on the buff was Neil Bond. He's having a big game. Hurried kick. Ends up marking uncontested. This will certainly test him from this distance. Salem with a chance for a third goal today. It was always pushing that post and pushing it so hard, it hit it. They are within a kick. Langdon deciding where to go with the kick here. Great mark in the pack. Maynard drives it out of defensive 50. Viney kicks it. A strong mark in the pack from Smith. A chance to put one through for his side. Plays on. Can't take the mark. This kick will put them in front. What a fantastic goal. That's two now. Finding his feet in front of goals. Congratulated by his teammates. He did really well there and gets the reward. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. We resume hostilities. Clears the contest. Collected the ball well. Beams, hurried kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Moves it by foot. Found space for an easy mark. Well picked up. He's been influential. Side bottom quickly under the boot. Rushes with the kick. Doing well to intercept that kick. Ruffy goes with the kick. Marks that ball uncontested. Moves the ball by foot. Dug out by Hibbert. Turned it over. May slams it under the boot. Neil Bullen doesn't get low enough and gives away the free. A chance to put one through here for Collingwood. Ruffin lines up from long range. A chance to steal the lead right here. That's something to smile about. His 
teammates rush over. The Magpies are back in front, about to resume play. Thump clear. He gains position. Movement by hand. He can take off after that handball. Drop punt finds its way home from Hunt. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Melbourne, go back in the lead again. Rough end. Thumps it forward. Has it now. Hoskinelli gets in a good position. Goes by foot. Brown couldn't snaffle it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. Sweeping handball at full stride. Receives the handball. Big moment to get the lead with this kick. Celebrating hard. Collingwood goes back in front. Back in the middle now as the Rucks go at it. Rough end. Clears the contest. Brown gets a quick kick away. Gets into a good position to take that. Hannon going for distance with the kick. Siren! And the Magpies to Premiers! They've done it. Silence the doubters. And they've won the Premiership. Just a massive win for this club. And what a performance to win the Premiership. What an unbelievable game. Every moment was critical, but they've managed to come out on top. Gee, that was a tough one. You've got to feel for the losing team in this situation to be so close to a grand final win and just miss out. Gary, what do you make of the result? The ability to stand up in the big moments is what decided the result, but what a game it was. This is the moment when the players... They are really lapping it up now, and why wouldn't you? They've won the Premiership. You won't be able to wipe the smile off their faces. They will go down in history as the Premiers. That's all for today. On behalf of myself and Gary Lyon, thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Thanks, Hanno. I've enjoyed every minute of it. Good old Collingwood forever.